which uh you know uh speaking of internet bills i want to talk about my isp here for a moment because yeah, my you ISP mentioned is this awesome. when we last talked on our dt's thing yeah uh so uh like i mentioned i have a dsl internet connection mm-hmm. it's ran by one of the very last mom and pop shops in, in basically the whole country uh so i happen to know the family that owns that operates this isp because you know there's only 1400 people here you kind of just run into everybody at the grocery yeah, yeah. store <laughs> so uh i've got i've got the phone number for the network admin the senior admin mm-hmm. uh, of which there's only two people that call themselves network admins there uh so well, every time i have an internet issue uh i dial two on my speed dial because you know one one's reserved for actual emergencies so i dial two mm-hmm. and i i just say hey i'm trying to stream right now can i get the work network priority please <laughs> like yep you got it you got it for the next three hours <laughs> that's awesome which uh he it's also set up so that my so that i don't have like a proper like re- re- regulated internet connection where you know you have like a cap of like say a gigabit cap or something yeah, like yeah. that mine's mine's unregulated so uh mm-hmm. my internet speed is literally as fast as they can serve it to me at all times uh minus congestion sure sure so, uh, of course, when I'm using Linux distributions such as Arch Linux, Pac-Man will 404 on me randomly because, you know, my latency changes dynamically. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, I have Which, this... you know, I, I have filed a bug report against that, and the maintainer literally just told me to buy better internet. Well, I have this problem, like, anyway, even with, like, a supposed to be stable connection. Like, if you have, you know, multiple people in the house downloading stuff, your yeah. latency is going to fluctuate anyway. Yep. Uh... That's honestly why I I've used Gen two for so long because you know Gen two is just R sync or Git that you're that you're downloading things for, with for your package manager so mm-hmm. it it doesn't matter. Uh, there's other reasons to use Gen two because in general packaging just kind of pisses me off. <laughs> uh, but your but the, yeah, yeah you'll say I, I remember when we last talked you were saying your ISP has. Uh, He's going to, like, shut down or something? Uh, yes. Uh, they bought into Cisco equipment 10 years ago, and guess what's going end of life in 2025? Right. Okay. <laughs> every every <laughs> single thing that they own. So uh, oh, they, they, were, they were faced with a choice. Buy all new everything. Uh-huh. Or just go end of life. Mm-hmm. And it literally came down to uh, the, the village that I live in which is the largest area and probably like their biggest income. They have a deal to be like the dedicated ISP for this village. Mm -hmm. Well, the village didn't renew with them. Instead, they went with Dish Network, a satellite provider who doesn't even serve internet. (laughs) So uh, I'm I'm faced with a choice. Uh, I can grandfather myself into Dish Network and then deal with HughesNet satellite internet. Which uh, I think they bundle, mm-hmm. and, or uh, I can switch to another service like Starlink, oh, which uh, you can pay. is still not available in my area technically. Oh, you but can, I am on a waiting list. You can pay shitloads of money to run a cable from the nearest place you can run a cable. <laughs> yeah, fifteen hundred dollars per mile up on a stretch of forty miles. It's not as bad as I would have thought. Like it's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, but, it is a lot of money. Like it's it's within the. It's not like you know. Three hundred thousand dollars. Like it's 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 a lot, but it could be done. It it could be done. It's about sixty thousand dollars. Which uh, you know, if we turn profits and I get a share of it, mm. I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'll have to be dealing with Spectrum, <laughs> right? <laughs> which is uh, you America's other Comcast. Mm-hmm. So you're sort of like the perfect customer for starling but the perfect situation for like trying it out yeah i i am at the per- i'm basically at the perfect uh spot i uh, i have joined the waiting list for starlink i have prepaid for for its availability because there's because they swear up and down it's going to be available i already bought the bought the satellite and everything mm-hmm. i just can't connect it yet because there's nothing for it to connect to supposedly right. even though i've already found out that there is a signal <laughs> There's apparently not a strong enough signal. Right, right. How much <laughs> was it to actually like get everything set up with Starlink? Uh, I know the like, upfront cost is pretty high. Four hundred and thirty dollars, uh-huh. and to get the Ethernet adapter for it was another eighty. Wait, what? Does wait what? Does do it only like give you Wi-Fi initially? It's only Wi-Fi. Oh, that's dumb. 
Yeah, and then the Ethernet adapter is just one port, so it's just like, well, thankfully switches exist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you they just like just charge five hundred dollars? What? Yeah. Uh, the worst part is that the uh, the firmware interface for it doesn't let you do anything. Uh, so if I was going to like open a firewall port or something like that, I would literally have to call customer service and have them do it for me. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. So uh, I've already determined it's like my my first day in is just like I'm going to call customer service and tell them, hey, I want I want to demilitarize zone on this IP address. Can you set that for me, please? <laughs> and then I will deal with the firewall myself. <laughs> and uh, they're probably going to tell me that that's not supported because, you know, that's a stupid idea. No, what they're going to tell you is, I don't know what you're saying. Let me redirect you to another person. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> and then you get redirected for the next hour, basically, <laughs> until someone's like, what are you saying? Yeah. And then do we tell that's them? That's probably what's going to be happening unless, you know, like uh, some somebody in the village council that, you know, is only here for three months out of the year uh, mm. decide, decides that they're going to change their minds. It's not going to happen. Which is something interesting because apparently in the state of Ohio, you can uh, technically have a permanent residence address and still and still run for uh, elections mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, sit in lo local city council seats, even though you're only here for three months out of the entire year. Because, you know, winter is cold and you're and you're 80 plus years old. So you go down to Florida <laughs> with the uh, with the ISP. Like how much would it actually cost for them to upgrade all their gear? Uh, I think the last quote I got was three hundred and eighty-six thousand dollars. All right then, okay. Because you know they, because you know you might as well not buy replacements, and of course a lot of the gear that they that they would need actually just straight up doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So uh, they they they're kind of just forced to upgrade to begin with. Right, right. That's a but you know uh, they're awesome. Uh, they they they're they get downstream from Spectrum, so they're getting a cable link to mm -hmm. uh the, their order so uh, it's nothing impressive to begin with so they really don't need to buy that much right but, but uh most of the cost is just caught up in the in the network switches and that's really it right right okay and that's like it's it's sad to see a small business like that just go under because especially one as unique as that <laughs> yeah 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 like Man, that that like the the relationship you have with the ISP, like that's 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 a really cool thing that just can't exist really yep. in many other places. And uh, it would be nice for that to be preserved, but yeah, that said, uh, you know, we what can you do about it. Uh, we are looking at like possibly setting up fixed wireless solutions, which you know might be another business venture I get myself caught up in. 